Hey everyone. So now I wanted to uh, just make sure that uh, you are up to date on the Audacity 3.61. Just want to go over some things. It's not that much different, uh, but I can tell you that the uh, background and the way they have the timer here, um, there's that. A um, little different with the color. Um, so let's uh, start by recording something. and make sure that my recording device is set. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is a little bit of a sample. I'm gonna work a few things out. So we still have this, and if you have your um, ACX function from there, you'll still see that, you'll still get that. Nyquist prompt. Okay, now I actually am not sure why this has been showing up like this, the way it is. But maybe I can do something with the compressor and see where that's going on. Yeah, it's definitely the compressor. And no, that's it on me. Maybe with me. Base boost here, beat booster. They They have these new functions here. So there's that. Um, if I normalize this to hmm, 3.1, let's see what we get. Okay, so it's still a bit noisy and Maybe you want to just go ahead and delete off the um, that. And hold like that again. Let's see if this goes through. Still noisy. Too noisy. We drop that down a bit. Normalize it to four. Let's see what we do here. And there you go. There you go. So, so also you might need to play around with that uh, if you're working on audiobooks. Okay, so let's check out a few more things here. Um, so you have this. Um, you actually can go to effects, and uh, if you have the effects, you can uh, go to Audacity. You have the phaser. And add effect and okay, so this is a little bit of a sample. I'm gonna work a few things out. What's that? necessarily but you can actually mute your track here so i do like that function and the solo is just this function if you're working it if there's if i uh new mono track here click record okay so this is a little gonna bit work of a here. sample Um, yeah, so there's that. So let's just take it this in. So just wait a moment. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure, gotta get this to apply here. Okay. The meeting can hide floating meeting controls, and then I'll press escape. Okay, um, got it. To her. See there, so let's do that. Oh, 
I'm not going to be too worried about that. So if I hit solo here, it mutes it there, and then we have... Okay, so this is a little bit of a sample. I'm going to work a few things out. But if we mute the track, we'll still get the same effect like this. Okay, so this is a little bit of a sample. I'm going to work... But if we switch to solo, that goes up there. If this okay, thing is going to work here. Um, yeah, so there's that. So let's just take it, this in. So just wait a moment. And, and you heard the background music, uh, background music, background sound, because I had both tracks playing at the same time. So just make sure when you're recording uh, or doing music tracks that one thing is recorded. And then when, so you're not overlapping with your, recording if you're trying to mix tracks or do something with like edm music or something so there's that yeah let's see what else can we do with this we have generate we can have the chirp um and then just click generate so we yeah, it solos it but if i do this we can it's going to sound awful, though, but hear me. Okay, so this is a little bit of a sample. I'm going to work a few things out. So if you ever did need that effect, uh, you could do that if you're working with uh, putting effects into audiobooks. There's that. I'm going to just do that. Mute this. And undo that. So, yeah, and we can analyze this. Measure on this and then do that. So if you ever needed it, Beat Finder is 65, uh, threshold percentage. Get them up. And you can try to label this too if you really want to get into the weeds of it. Generate and fix. Sorry about that. It, it it went off to a different window um, for that. So uh, just so I can't show you that without um, doing that, and you can get more effects too. So if so, the one benefit with this is AI effects. Um, I might just have a separate video on that um, altogether. So there's that. We can actually, yeah, screw, yeah. Oh, miss, right, right of a here. sample, oh, miss, right. sample. Um, yeah. So there's that. Down. So let's just take it this in. So just wait a moment. So oh, and uh, and I actually just learned something too. No moment. I'm gonna stop that. Um, I actually just learned something. So apparently now you can, so you can scrub if that as well if you didn't know about that. Um, so and then there's enable looping too. So we can do this. Um, and I think there's actually two ways to do that. So let's just do that. Um, you can enable looping like this. So if we hit play, if this, okay, so this is a little bit of a here. sample. Okay, actually, you know, mute this one and, um, and try again with that. Okay, so this is a little bit of a sample. I'm going to work a few things out. Okay, so this is a little bit of a sample. Yeah, and, and then it just then it'll, it'll just loop. So you can check that on and check it off, or you can let's see, you can also just go enable looping, and then and that way it works too, as well. You can rescan audio devices if uh, it's not showing up. Playing is play stop cursor once, then you can click pause. But I'm not. But I think it's just better to click the buttons. Transport options, uh, here are other tracks during recording. Uh, just keep that the same. Select and then where is the line? And, and forgive me, this is still brand new. Yes, align tracks.
Okay, so this is what I wanted to get to. Do a control A. We will do tracks, go to online tracks, and we can go on end to end. So so that's just a good function right there, and you don't need to do anything else. Uh, if you uh, recorded something and, and something came over and, and it's just right there, so you don't have to worry about it. And now it's all one part of the track, so I can... So if you have your intro to something, it's there, and then and then the other portion of the uh, clip can play and come over, and you don't have to, uh, you know, drag this in and drag that out, and then, and then just meet that yellow line every time. You're not; it's not going to. Um, you don't have to to waste uh, minutes trying to line that up perfectly. So you can just do that, and you save so much time with that. As well, tools. Um, we have the Nicholas prompt. We have the we said in duration. We have some settings. So it's not in So most of this is still going to be the same. Um, we'll work on getting. Yeah, I'll work on um the uh, ACX portion. Right now, let me show you that. It's, it's obviously going to be too much over. Okay, yeah, so I miss that was too limited. All that's there. We can um, use this to 3 1. Let's see that. I'll, I'll work on getting that, setting up your standards in this new version. So I do apologize with that. And it's not easy at first. Um, I got this lucky tube. So um, actually, I'm going to mute this track here. And, and let's see if we can get that done now and see if maybe I just clicked the wrong button. Okay, so no, wait, stop. Uh, new. Okay. Track, new mono track right there. Okay, so let's make sure that uh, we've got everything going here. Um, I'm pretty sure the ACX function still works. Um, you might have to uh, set up some free stuff, but um, yeah, I'll probably just get that to it done in another video. Okay, so let's uh, highlight this. Let's go to ACX. And let's check that out. It's probably the only film. So to form which you probably pass now. Can go to that if you need to um, do the um, hmm. Wait, I'm going to see what I can do. Um, volume and compression. Yeah, no, it's not. Shin, yeah, get noise profile, but we're going to.
Civilization. Okay, now we passed. We passed that. Okay, so um, that's how you do it. Um, in the new version of Audacity, we'll work on the um. And sorry, the um. The AI script um, generating the AI folks, and uh, we'll work on in a different video. Uh, but for now, uh, definitely thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and uh, take care. Um, and oh yeah, and uh, share this video with your friends. Take care.